PS means like uh, if you are working like uh, so you are working on which type of project? Wind? Sorry, I'm working on which type of project? Yeah. So uh, I understand like EPC contract, but in like uh, oil and gas or something else. So for now, let's come to our topic. Uh, so for the EPS, like you need to go on the enterprise from the top. Move up. Okay, all the way up yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Second option, enterprise project structure. So now we will maintain EPS to segregate the data. Means let's say like a, I'm creating two EPS. One is training that belongs to my part. One is your, like uh, like we used to give a homework to the kid. I can say that your practice or your playground that will be your part to segregate yeah. the data. Okay. Now let's add. And by the way, like you you also learn how to create that. The EPS is added. So let's right. say we create the, first we give it the name EPS ID. Can you see that EPS ID? Yeah, click on that. And we uh -huh. use short form of training T R and T for three R for Royal Scotland. You can say and uh, and for New Zealand T R short form. What's more EPS ID T, T for T, three. Uh -huh. No T for three, man. Not the P. P. I'm not talking about the parrot. Delete this new EPS. Well, make it blank. I have a bit of problem catching you here on the on the. I'm using a load speaking no phone, problem. I have like a repeat. microphone. I might be. A, yeah, I should maybe next time move over to headphones. Might be easier yeah. to hear than than this. No, no problem. Yeah. Just delete this e new EPS. Remove this. Yeah. Uh, backspace. Backspace, man. Delete this new EPS. We want to change that. Yes. Oh, more backspace. Remove everything there. Now type T capital T for tree training T. Yes. Then R for train and then N for New Zealand short form of training. So that will be I'm using ID. EPS ID short form. And now you hit the tab or you can go and directly move your cursor on the new EPS. Yes, the name. And you can write it training by removing everything there. Now you understand? Yeah. Enter. So mm -hmm. as you are in a standalone, so responsible manager doesn't make any sense for you because you have access for everything. Okay, okay. man. So it, does, it doesn't I, make any sense. Should I leave it or just? Yeah, you, you can leave it because yeah. you, you have access for everything. Now yeah. let's add one more. Up here on add. Yes. You can give the name like short form of playground. You can say that PG and in the new EPS name, you can say that playground where you are going to practice your projects. So my understanding is like, like if you do not practice, you forgot everything. So you can use arrows from the right side to move your EPS up and down based on your requirements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, can, you can move it inside once based on your requirement. Now, if, if is it good, now you hit the close. Close. Yes. Can you see okay. two EPS yeah. are added there? Yeah. So in training, like I will be teaching you in playground, you will be practicing. So we are not disturbing our data. Now select the training man. We will add the project there. Yeah. Oh, I'll just right click. There. Right click. Right click. Right click. Right click. Yes. Sir. Can you see the add there? If you move so down you go your cursor. Add, add, add help. Yes, sir. EPS you have already selected. So you can click right. on next. Yeah. Now here, same way like yesterday we did project ID and project name. So let's say project ID, we use short form TRN 1000. 1000. Type one, yes, numeric 1000. And then the project yeah. name, let's say project creation. I'm just taking topics name. What Small would you like to call it? Project creation. Project creation. Let's say click on next man. So by default, project plan start today is today. Mm -hmm. You can change yeah. it by clicking on three dots. Yeah. Going up. And if you have the deadline, you can enter it in the must finish file. Mm -hmm. Right now, yeah. we do not have the deadline, so we can skip that thing. Click on next man. Mm -hmm. So responsible manager, like it is coming from the obvious for the security thing. So it's already like you are everything there. So you, you do not need to worry about there. Click on next mm. and rates. These are the rates for the unit rates for the resources. We will talk mm. it later when we define the resources. So right now we can ignore that. Click on next and finish. Your project is added, man. Now select that project, right click, open project. So it will move you on the activities page. Now, huh. first thing, uh, we are going to add the WBS. So same mm -hmm. way from the top project. Can you see that next yep. to the enterprise? If you move your uh, cursor up, click on that man, click on that. Can you see the WBS? VBS, yeah. WBS, yes. Click on that. So it will yeah. open a WBS page. Now, can you see the vertical partition and dividing the WBS names and the Gantt chart? You can yeah. scroll that. Note here, up one man, Gantt chart, what, uh, left side, drag it on the right side more. More, yeah. right. yes. Now, yeah. in the WBS page, Highest level is your project name. We right click there, click on add. So you see that new WBS yeah. is added. So mm -hmm. numbering, it will automatically take care. You do not need to worry about. We are just worried about the naming. So okay. click on the new WBS. New WBS. Let's say uh -huh. 
we, we give uh, it the name engineering hit the enter yes now right click there again uh, if you want yeah, to add the new wbs yes click on add yeah. so it become the child of the engineering means if you want to break like if you go for the more detailed levels you want okay. to break engineering yeah. in civil mechanical electrical like that way and here in, so now it takes the number one and 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 keeps this tier around one thousand first yeah in in there yeah okay. and if you yeah. see that yeah. one dot one yeah. automatically yeah. start calculating you don't need mm. to worry about it. okay yeah so based on the requirement you can build your wba structure as detailed as you want okay man yeah so now now we are not going in so much detail because if we can like going to create such a big project it will take like a mm. couple of hours just for the data entry yeah wow. Now, if you want to make it sibling, this uh, like engineering and like a second, I want to give it a name as a procurement. So if you move your cursor on the extreme right side of your primavera screen, you see the arrows moving. Yeah, yeah, extreme you had it here over here on this yes, side. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, now yeah. see that when you hit that, it become sibling. Now give it this name as a procurement. Yeah, we call it procurement, yeah. And let's add one more, same way. Now it become child of that. We want to make it sibling, use the arrow man. On the right side and yeah. we give it the name construction so this is the way we are going to add the wbs and you can see that the numbering it will automatically take care you do not need to worry mm -hmm. about that thing. so once our wbs structure is final so we will move on activities page over to yes. activities now, yes yeah. now it is not refreshed so you need to go on the file on the top can you see the file uh, file first uh, option yeah. can you see the refresh button there if you scroll down and go down there and that refresh data huh? yeah. Yes, yes, hit that one. Now see that whatever the structure you define it, it gets organized in that way. Next thing, lift. Now we want to keep only those columns which is required right now. Because if you keep unnecessary columns right now, it will create unnecessary confusion. Agreed with me? So we will keep only those columns which is required right now. In later stage, we can like add as many columns based on our requirement. Uh, now, right clicks. Uh, right click here. Yeah. Can you see the columns there? If you uh, go down. Columns, yeah, there. See that and there also on the other side. Yeah, yeah it is. So we do not require right now schedule percent is complete because right now we are in the creation phase on the right side. If you see that, like. What you, uh, do we not need, you say? Schedule. Percentage complete, we do not require, right? Select that. This one? Yeah. And can you see the single arrow in the between? Yes, hit that. Yeah. To move left. Yeah. Now, okay. we do not require the remaining duration also. Select that and move it left. Yeah. Okay and right now total float is also not required so we, we will keep only basic column okay Hit apply so you can see okay. that the columns based on our requirement we do not want to see like if, if you are not interested in seeing this the wbs numbers you can see that trn 1000.1 like that way we are just want to see the wbs name so in that case you can right click here you want to take away this one yes we want to make it like very simple man i always like to see the vbs i always feel safer than that. no wbs will be there but the numbering will move away and in that like if you go down there is a show no go down there go down don't scroll over there and can you see id and code oh yeah that one yeah and yeah. from the right side hit apply okay so it just takes out uh there, yeah park it yes on the gantt chart let's adjust our gantt chart time scale also Move your cursor on the Gantt chart, man. Right click here. We'll adjust yeah. our time scale. So right now it is showing you date interval quarter per month. So our project is not so big right now for training. So let's say the date interval we go for the month per week. Month per week. Month per week. Quarter, month per week. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Now click apply. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And if you go at the bottom of the Gantt chart scroll bar, can you see the red line there? This one. A uh, little yeah. bit left. Uh, yeah. Arrow there. Hit that arrow on the scroll bar, little left side. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Now this red line is showing you the progress line. Right now we do not require the progress line. So we can uncheck. If you move your cursor up on the toolbar, there is a zigzag line is checked out. Okay. Uh, above above that. You you have moved your toolbar one step up. If you see that the toolbar above that and move it on the right side. More right side. There is zigzag line. Can you see that? If you move your cursor right side, more right side, more right map, zigzag line, progress line. Two yeah, there one more. Yeah, that's one. Uncheck that. Okay. Now you can see the blue line. Blue line is your data date. Today's date. Uh, yeah, whenever you start adding the project. And that oh. represents the progress line. Right now we uh. do not have any progress, so we can ignore that progress line. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you have a complete set of action buttons up on top there also. Okay. 